Hi guys, I'm Bobsy and I've made a tool to easily get nice screenshots and video materials for your game. So let me show you how it works. When I press E on the scene, it will throw this ragdoll and spawn an explosion. Now let me show you what you can do with it. So let's summon the explosion and I can stop the game here and I can go up, see how it looks, get a nice screenshot. I can move forward from frame to make it hopefully look even better and have nice control over it totally. I can also run in slow motion in case I want to get that instead. And I can also super easily store it to a screenshot, like so. You can see I just have a screenshot folder here where you can see some of the screenshots I've played with. It can also remove the background completely, so as you can see here, there's no background on it, which makes it super easy for editing uh, images and so on later. You can see I got this guy here as well, like this, with no background at all, taken directly. So, let me show you how to use it. So first thing you got to do is you equip the screenshot mode script to the your main camera. You simply set up all the settings as you want. It, it can enlarge, you can set the resolution of the width and the height, and whether you want the background to be transparent or not. You can also set of course your controls with the camera such as the turn speed, pan speed and zoom speed, and you can change the scale of the slow motion that you want. In case you actually don't want slow motion but still want the free camera, you can simply set it up to one. And you can see now when I move around in slow motion, I can move around. It's it's not slow motion anymore. It's just a normal time scale. The script can also disable other scripts. So you can easily drag and drop your other camera scripts into this array. And once you pretty much start, it will disable the script. And once you go back, it will re-enable the scripts again. You can also edit the keybinds. And if I press F10, you can see I go into the screenshot mode and the time is completely stopped. Now, if I press F11, I can move forward one frame at a time or however many frames I'd like, which you can also set. You can see, I can set it to 20 frames and we can set it up as high as 30 frames at a time. And you can easily take a screenshot with the button here or by the press of F9 or whatever keybind you'd like to set it to. The tool is super easy to use and hopefully will be able to give you some really nice and creative screenshots for your game and for your marketing material. So the link for it will be in the description. Hopefully there'll be an asset store link, but it takes about 30 days to go through to the asset store. So if there's not an asset store link, there'll be a link to a direct download from Google in case you want to use it. It is going to be completely free. So to me, it doesn't really matter where you download it from. But of course, a good review on the asset store will be really nice. But also, please do let me know in the comments what you end up using this for. And I really hope to see some cool materials for you guys. Last thing that I also want to say is that a lot of the tools that I make are greatly inspired by Yarncat. He also made a screenshot mode script, which I just feel like I improved on a bit, but I took great inspiration and I even took some code directly from his, such as the ability to take the screenshot and save it in the best possible way. The same with making the transparent background. So please do leave some appreciation for Jan Kat as well in the comment section. So I really hope that this was useful to you and I just hope that you have a wonderful day.